Hello everyone, Gangren Lion here. This time I'm going to this is going this is going to be a very short video because I'm going to show a very short chapter, which is uh, actually a downloadable content, which was released at the same time the game was launched. This is a very special chapter for me because this will be this will make. Hasaha become playable once we clear this chapter. And she is one of my favorite characters in the Summonite series. Unfortunately, this chapter, like many other events in the game, have no voices. But ba the basic plot in this extra chapter is that Hasaha is wishing upon a star that she can be useful to her master, in that case to her Onicha, the main character from Summonite 2. To make things clear, Hasaha has lost her powers ever since she came into this to the world of Summonite 6. So she can she can't fight normally like any other character can. And even though she knows that the things she sees in the sky are not actually stars, but things that are falling inside the world, inside this cocoon mode, even though she knows that those are not shooting stars, she still makes wish wishes, because it's the only thing she can do. It's actually a very melancholic chapter. It's too bad that there are no voices. Such a waste. And then, just like that, Hasaha wishes comes true. And she also feels danger. And that's right, her Onichan is in danger. Hasaha's senses are tingling. And there is no brave order in, in this battle. You just need to finish all the monsters, which by this point in the game are actually pretty tough. But yeah, no big problem here. Yes, Hasaha will not run anymore. Fortunately, this this downloadable content is actually free. Just like many other DLCs that will be released eventually. This is the first this is the first downloadable content. But there will be four more, I believe. We're not going to try kill all those monsters alone, which will be stupid. I will just try to join with the older characters. I think it would be better. Cause some damage. Oyakata is actually a summon creature from Summon H4. Oyakata is a bonus creature that you only 
you yeah. can only do you can only get if you bought the game at your launch. Becoming pretty nasty for poor Magina. Better save him and fast. What should we do? Asaha King can't reach her. Yes. Let's go, guys. We can do it. This hmm. isn't looking good. I better take some distance. But I can't make can't summon anything. Yes! I can't. Okay, this is going to be pretty difficult. Yes, Kita. Got it, eh? Yes, Hasaha. Hear you. She will go into here. Her own Protect me! Don't like that. Guess I have no other choice. Yep, let's protect Magda. Yes. Yes. 
かった俺の番だなよし頼んだぜこいつでとどめだ見せてやるくそくねえなこれでいいかなそらこれでどうだ That's something really annoying about the AI in Summon Age, which goes back from the since the first games. Yes. They run from you. Whenever they are at your disadvantage, they try to run for you. It's quite pathetic. Yes. よし、so、now he wants to fight me. これでいいかなまさか逃げないおっきゅうきゅうきゅうきゅうきゅう No fun. I try to finish him with some hustle. It's more for a quiet trip this way. Yes. Absolutely cute. Then she's not here for some reason. I think she's not officially part of the, the group yet. Just now they notice that they can. Just now they realize that Hasaha was able to fight alongside them. And Magen explains that he came in, he came into this place looking for Hasaha, because he knew she always came into this place alone to look to the stars. They get all lovely dovey because he tells her to not to not go walking around alone. She sees an older star, 
and she decides to make another wish, which is to always be together with her Onicha. That's so lovely. And that's it! A pretty short chapter indeed. But at least now we got Hasaha on the team. And she's actually a pretty good strong character. It was worth. I really love the fact that this was for free. I hope all the other characters that will become available for free as DLC are just as good as her. And that's it! The next video will be about chapter 2. See you there! Bye!